Proteus, the intelligent chemical metering pump, main display navigation. Introducing Proteus, the intelligent chemical metering pump, engineered for accuracy, reliability, and process control flexibility. This video will review the pump's main navigation functionality and context-sensitive display for easy navigation. Before we start, always remember to read the instruction manual carefully, paying particular attention to warnings and precautions before installing or making changes to any pump. Always follow safety procedures, including the use of proper clothing, eye, and face protection. Now let's get to know the Proteus Metering Pump's main navigation. First, let's take a look at the main display's key icons and controls. The notification bar, located across the top of the display screen, offers information at a glance, including the pump's operating mode, alarms, status, time, and more, depending on screen functions. In this example, the hand icon indicates the pump is operating in manual mode, and the padlock signifies the keypad is currently locked. The notification bar can display up to 10 different icons, so refer to your manual to see the complete list along with their meanings. This screen is the main operating mode display for the pump. The image in the center of the screen shows the pump's current flow rate in gallons or liters per hour, as well as the flow rate percentage which the user programs. You'll see along the bottom of the screen additional icons and their corresponding context-sensitive menu buttons. Let's review them from left to right. Mode. This button changes the operation of the pump between six possible modes. Manual, Analog, Pulse, Batch, Cycle Timer, and Timed Event. Prime. Pressing this button will start priming the pump. By default, priming is set to 60 seconds at 100%, but this can be customized in settings. Lock. This button allows the user to lock the keypad or unlock the keypad with a user-selected four-digit PIN number. Settings. This button takes you to a settings menu. Keep in mind that each model offers additional settings to complete the pump's configuration for your application. Refer to the manual to see the full list. We can also see along the left side of the screen two buttons and two LED indicators. The Start Stop button immediately starts or stops the pump. The 100% button transitions the pump to its maximum predetermined flow rate. The pump status indicator icon and its corresponding green LED indicates when the pump is operating. Pressing the Start Stop button illuminates the green LED and starts the pump. Pressing the Start Stop button again stops the pump and the green LED light turns off. The tank level indicator icon corresponds to an LED which is used when configured for an external tank and connected to a digital input. This LED will illuminate amber when the tank is low. Finally, you'll notice two additional buttons positioned to the right of the screen. These up and down arrows work accordingly within each mode. On the main display screen, use these buttons to increase or decrease the flow. Hold the button to scroll to the desired setting. For more information on this metering pump, refer to the manual or contact your local authorized representative. Milton Roy pumps are engineered to exceed expectations and are backed by a global network of highly trained field engineers and after-sales support that is second to none. Visit us online to find your local authorized Milton Roy representative. Milton Roy metering pumps offer field-proven reliability along with new, innovative solutions to meet today's toughest industry challenges.